Today I want to talk about proportion and how to scale things. So let's look at something here. Let's look at an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So print letter eight and a half by 11. A printer can never get to the edge of the actual paper because if it did, it would get on the roller itself right around here and smudge. So the next page would have a little bit of yellow or a little bit of blue, etc. But let's look in here and let's look at the size. Take it all, copy it, make a new one real quick and just paste it in. All right, now let's go to image size or canvas size. All right, so instead we're gonna do percent. 33.33 rounded off four. That's fine. Now we're gonna colorize this so we can see what's going on. So we're gonna colorize, tint it up, bring the brightness down so we have a little yellow panel here. Copy that, paste this in. Now look over here to the left, paste it in again. We'll colorize it a bit here. So we'll have like a little bit of orange and paste it in again. And we have this. This is in a perfect world where you would have something from a printer that would specifically be able to fold perfectly right to the edge. Now what happens mathematically when a printer asks you for something like, let's flatten this whole thing. Well, not flatten it, but let's, let's expand it and keep this background here for the exact size. All right. Now let's go to image canvas size. And now the printer wants one quarter of an inch on each side. So 8.5 plus 0.125 plus 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch, actually an eighth of an inch bleed for a quarter total. That's 8.25 plus 0.5. That's 8.75 height 11. Same thing. 0.125 twice is 0.25. That's the border. Now you can see the border. Now what would happen if we added side borders, but we didn't add borders in the center or change the size? No matter what, that's never gonna fold correctly, is it? So let's take a look. Let's take this whole thing and put it together as a shape, all right? Move this down here. This is the new design. We're gonna make a copy of this and we're gonna merge the layers. That's our copy with the border. Now let's make a new eight and a half by 11 print and do this. And I'm going to window workspace to arrange them two up vertical so we can see what's going on. Let's paste that in and notice that we have the border on the side and other things going on we can't see. All right, the background I'm going to invert so it's a little easier to see where this new piece of paper that is an eight and a half by 11 is. So we print this on an eight and a half by 11 regular printer, not a printer's design, but a regular printer. Watch what happens when you proportionally, right? Not scale it like this, but proportionally, there we go. Uh, there we are, all the way to here. What happens when we go to the edge? Did you notice something? Look at the bottom, there's space. So you can't squeeze something into eight and a half by 11 once it's been made for a printer that cuts on a piece of paper, say for instance, nine by 12. So what really happens is you go to a printer and they have something like this. They have nine by 12 piece of paper and then they will invert that. That's the paper. And then you go to a printer and they do that. So what happens is when you use your rulers, you'll notice that a printer cuts off right about here. And you think to yourself, well, if they don't cut just perfectly, you're gonna see a little white edge or a little extra yellow. That is correct. So when you do this as well as you can, and no printer's perfect, especially when there's a thousand pieces being cut at once or a hundred in an avalanche with a big cutter. So now you have that, you cut that. If you cut that, whether it's there or if you proportionally scale here, watch what happens. No matter what size you reprint this and you cut it properly, whatever size it is on an eight and a half by 11, or this is nine by 12, but I say it's eight and a half by 11, no matter what, if you cut this the right way, 
it will always fold properly. That will always fold the right way. It's always the same proportion. How do I know? I just showed you. No matter what, it's always the same size. It will always fold if you take that extra part off. Now, in design, what a lot of people do is they let things bleed. So if we go back to here and we copy these and you go back to this design that we have and we paste it in on top so we can see what's going on there. There's one, right? Let me go back and get all three. There we go. Drag all three over to here. So we have all three. Now let's center it up and down. It's centered pretty much, sort of, yeah, like that. Now, if you want the printer to get this perfectly and get rid of the paper that's black, you take each one of these and you do what's called a bleed edge. So what you do is you pull it out as much as you want, one direction. In my case, I'm gonna do that, but you can, you can proportionally scale it. So what's happening now is you have this edge but what's happening now that has to be underneath that yellow so that way those lines are still perfect right there you go so no matter what underneath I've got there we are I've got a perfect scale so let's make sure I didn't make any mistakes let's measure this right and we'll copy it and we'll paste it in We'll paste it in place. We will invert it so we can see what it is. Now I'm going to move it across and move it across again. Maybe just put it on top so you can see what I'm doing. So there's one. Copy, paste in place. And I'll invert that. And paste in place. And I will colorize it a bit so we can see a bit more of a difference. As you can see, even though the edges go to here, which is the, the cutoff, the bleed, right? It's only going to cut to here. Now, imagine that's still yellow. It's not blue. So imagine I just did, I'm just showing you, it's still yellow. When the printer cuts, right? When the printer cuts, you're not going to see any mistakes if it's cut here or here off a little tiny bit. That's what the bleed is. If you fold this, and you don't cut off this edge that I have right here. Let me show you, right? This background, if you don't cut off this edge that's actually there, I'll make a new segment. This has to be cut off by the printer and I will fill that in with say green. Okay, this has to be cut off by the printer. That's a given. That way it looks proportionate. Boom. Now, if I make a copy and move that over here, this gets cut off by the printer. Remember, that's blue and blue. It's just a bleed, so that way when the printer isn't quite perfect, you won't see that it's not quite perfect. There's no white background on the paper. And we'll paste it one more time. We'll translate that. And then move it up here and translate it again. There, all right. Copy and paste, put that at the bottom. Look at that. Now you have a perfect design that cuts off. If you scale this down and you want to make it smaller, which you can do, but if you want to do that, watch what happens when I select all of these, I translate everything and it's in proportion, the entire thing. Watch when I go to the edge right there. Look at that. No matter what, if you cut that paper where that green is, and I could do the, actually do the green as well as an example, okay? No matter what size you end up doing that, I'll cut all this stuff off. There we go. So if I scale this whole thing down, did you notice something? No matter what, pretend that green goes forever. Let's, let's make it small like this, all right? Now it's small like that. What if I do another one that underneath the black for clarity is now this green. Did you notice that no matter what size this is, 
it will always cut perfectly if you cut the border off. It will not cut pro uh, fold properly if you fold from the sides of the 8.5 by 11 or whatever size piece of paper it is. It's wherever the actual bleed is supposed to be cut. That won't be green, it'll be the actual blue or the yellow or the orange. That's what bleed is. That's why things don't fold right. That's it. 